Today, uh, today is not a good day, friends. Today is, uh, today is a, a very not good, bad, sad, very sad, and bad fucking day. Uh, I'm shooting this video, this vlog. I just want to say hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, which means it's vlog day. I'm actually shooting this video on Monday, March 24th, and today, today is not a good day. Um, the world lost a goddamn metal god uh, from the planet Scumdogia, intergalactic uh, metal god, uh, Odorous Urungus, uh, Dave Brocky died today. And it's, uh, I didn't really think it would affect me that much, but it, I, I don't know, it's really, it's really bummed me out. I mean, it's really bummed me out. This is a band that I liked so much that I got them tattooed on myself. I have Odorous's face tattooed about this big. You want to see it? On my leg. You see this? This is a band uh, that I love, that I grew up with. Um, if anyone has ever asked me what my favorite band is, I say Guar without hesitation. Um, my good buddy Mark tattooed out that on me. My good buddy Mark also bought me this shirt a number of years ago. And I was lucky enough to see Guar a few times live. And uh, it just breaks my heart. Um, it breaks my heart that Dave's dead. And that, that really bums me out. And uh, Flitzanu texted me this morning. And he said, hey, you're going to need to Google uh, Dave Brocky. And I'm like, oh, like I knew as soon as he texted me that. It's such a bummer. And uh, I Googled it. And sure enough... Um, one of his buddies found him uh, sitting in a chair, dead in his house, uh, and it kills me, man. Just kills me. Been in a been been down in the dumps all day, but uh, uh, I've also been rocking a lot of Guar all day. The whole morning when I was uh, uploading the Monday double feature and answering emails and replying to Facebook and stuff like that, it was just a marathon of Guar nonstop, and so. Uh, you know, what's that, uh, what did they say about Spock? He's not really dead if we find a way to remember him. Well, I will remember him constantly uh, through all of the wonderful Guar albums I have and through the wonderful tattoo that I have on my leg. It means so much more to me now. Don't want to get too emotional because I shouldn't be getting emotional because I didn't know this guy. But, uh, you know, when someone affects your life like that, it's, uh, you get, uh, you know, you, you feel like a sort of kinship with them, I guess. Um, but regardless, moving forward, moving forward into the blog. Vlog, everybody, uh, welcome to the vlog. Um, we're already 11 minutes in and I've done nothing but talk about uh, Odorous uh, Urungus, uh, Prime Minister of the Sinister, Cavalier of Chaos, and uh, Professional Shuffleboard Player. <sighs> he will be missed. Um, moving forward, um, I do have some uh, very loose sort of vlog notes um, going on right here. Uh, it's funny, I went shopping at Home Depot today for a new light above me so that I don't have to maybe use these this, this harsh light. You see this light over here? That's just in my face. And then I get this weird hat shadow, and then I get this weird light over here, and that's what happens when I shoot at night. That just, that's what happens. And so I was trying to find a better overhead light that was maybe... I don't know, a little softer, a little, I don't know, and uh, didn't work out, couldn't find it. I bought a new light, and it turns out that it hangs down like this far, and it would have literally been like right here, and it would have been in camera, so that's not uh, that's not what we want, uh, but what am I vaping tonight? Well, it's going to be shocking because it's the Duke. Um, I actually uh, did, in the mail today, get an iGo W5, and I have been... Oh, impressed with this atomizer. It's got great airflow. It is easy to build on. And most of all, the greatest thing about it is it's like 10 bucks. You can search around. You can find these for wicked cheap. If you want a new uh, rebuildable atomizer, if you've never bought a rebuildable atomizer before and you want to get your first one, I go W5. I am going to be recommending this to, uh, to everybody because it's on the cheap and it's a quite nice construction. Uh, this turned out to be a 0.7 ohm dual coil made with 29 gauge canthal, cotton, and a super secret Namber juice. What? Great. Uh, it's on the Duke, obviously. The uh, Adjusta Medili thing is there. 
Oh. Loving it. Um, loving it. Not to give away completely what our juice is, but uh, it pairs very, very nicely with uh, possibly one of my favorite brews of all time. I love that St. Bernardus, and I've been drinking it nonstop for about a month now. Decided to switch things up. We went to uh, the World Market today, and I got some Samuel Smith Organic Chocolate Stout. Uh, for my money, there is not a better chocolate stout on the market. They did have the Rogue Double Chocolate there, um, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't grab it. I didn't. It just. I. I. They had three of these in stock, and I bought all of them. And. Uh, I just love this. I'm kind of sentimental about this beer. I drank this beer when we moved into our new house, and uh, I had never had it before, and it was just like this. I took my first sip of it, and I looked at my buddy Brandon, who we call Meat, my my beer friend at work, and I was just like, what, what is this magic that I'm drinking? Uh, and it's it's just phenomenal. So here's to you. Hmm. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is good. This is uh this is just a phenomenal beer. Even if you're not quite a beer drinker, you might even like this because it's so just cocoa-y, chocolatey deliciousness. Just love it. It's so good. Yes. So uh, what's been on uh, Nick's playlist? This is something that people have been wondering. What bands have I been rocking recently? Uh, apart from Guar. I mean, it's been nonstop Guar. And it'll probably be nonstop Guar. I'm probably going to skip all my podcasts this next week. I'm not going to listen to VP Live. I'm not going to listen to Clickbang. I'm not going to listen to 500 by Midnight. I'm just going to listen to nothing but Guar on my commute all week long. I'm going to wear black. Uh, and I'm going to... I'm going to... I don't know. I'm going to kill somebody. I feel like I need to cut somebody's head off now in honor of him. Um, I discovered this new band uh, recently that I had never heard of, and I believe it was a subscriber. Oh, I don't remember your name. Did I write it down in the vlog notes? Nope, did not. Of course not, because I'm a jerk. Well, if you're my subscriber and you sent me this, it's a band called Vector. V-E-K-T-O-R. <coughs> Pardon me. Robin. V E K. T O R, and uh, I'll link one of their songs in the description. It's called Cosmic Vortex. It's on YouTube. Uh, I really like this band. They're like metally. Uh... Oh, oh. I'm not sure if you can hear that. I've really dug it. I've really been into it. Uh, I've been trying to track down their album, but I think I'm going to have to break down and buy it on iTunes. It's uh, it's really good, like somewhat old schooly, thrashy, uh, growly, and he does a couple like uh, like high vibrato type of things. Uh, really into it. Really think it's uh, great. And again, if you're the subscriber that sent me that, I apologize. So we've covered guar, we've covered beer, we've covered music. Um, one band that I am never going to uh, skip a song on either is uh, Catatonia, my good buddy Mark, who I refer to all the time. But uh, my good buddy Mark, he got me into Catatonia uh, within this last year. It was like within 2013. And their album, Dead End Kings, I may have mentioned this before. I probably have. One of the best albums uh, that I've ever heard. I absolutely love it. You should check out Catatonia if you are into the uh, into the metalness. Um, although he's not like uh, he doesn't growl or scream or anything. He's got a, a wonderful, just full hooky voice that's that's delicious, and I love it. And I've never described a singer of a band as delicious before, but there's no time like the present. And I apologize. I can see some glare in my glasses, even though I have the monitor down. You still see some glare. Let's have some more uh, chocolate stout. Mm, 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 mm. It just uh, puts me in a good mood. So, oh yeah. Okay, so I do have so, I do have a lot to talk about. We better blast through this. A lot of people have been asking me, whatever happened to that Wiimote mod? I had a DNA20 mod that was inside of a Wiimote. There was a DNA, remember the NES, the classic NES controller? Well, someone, A to Z Vapor World 
took it upon themselves to build a Wiimote DNA20 mod. And I got it, and I was like, oh, this is great. And then I opened it up, and I'm like, well, it only runs on the 14500 batteries, but that's still okay. I'll just put them in here. And then it was misfiring and not adjusting, and the batteries were draining while it was off. And it was this whole mess, right? <laughs> Terrible. And so I emailed them with my concerns, and I said, guys, this isn't, uh, I don't want to put this on YouTube because it's kind of junky. And they said, oh, no, I know, I know. We, we got all that worked out. Send it back. We'll send you a new one. So they sent me a new one. And the second one that they sent me, also no good. Also no good. Uh, it was coming apart at the seams, and it looked like there was a lot of glue or something in there. Anyway, I sent it back to them for the second time, and... They said, don't worry, we'll get you a new one as soon as we have all this ironed out, this, that, and the other. That was like four months ago, three months ago. Have not uh, heard from them, have not seen them active on Facebook. As far as I know, they may not even be a company anymore. Should we Google Foo them? Uh, a to Z Vapor World. Nope, A to Z Vapor World, still a company. They still have uh, custom mods coming soon. They have a, the, a machine called the Paradox. They make an Altoids can. They make a uh, Newman's Own Organic Ginger Mint can. Okay. Uh, iPhone Custom Tin DNA Box, Playboy Bunny, a bottom mounted that's weird um yeah apparently they don't have the wiimote mod here anymore that's fine uh i never heard back from them i may never hear back from them it is what it is and that sometimes uh, happens with vendors and i don't hold it personally against them there was once upon a time believe it or not pro vape uh, contacted me and said we're coming out the, with a variable voltage mod. This is before the ProVary even existed. And they said, we're going to send you the ProVape 1 first, and then shortly after that, you're, we're going to send you a ProVary to review. And I said, fantastic. Here's how things work. First come, first serve, this, that, and the other. I got the ProVape 1. I spent about a month with it. I did the video. The ProVary never showed up. Turns out that they uh, may not have been completely happy with my Pro Vape 1 video, even though uh, if you go back and watch it, I felt like I gave it a pretty decent, uh, a decent recommendation on the YouTube here. The Pro Vary just uh, never showed up. We, I lost communication with them. Pro Vary came out, and that's and it is what it is. It just, it just kind of never happened. Things fall through, or. You know, they feel like I don't want to send that person something anymore, and that's that's perfectly fine. I don't uh, I don't approach vendors. I don't solicit vendors. It's up to them to come to me, and uh, things fall through. And uh, I need to stop rambling because there is so much nonsense to talk about. I haven't even got to the first ugh, thing. I want to give a shout out right now to the vape girl Janae. Uh, she makes videos on YouTube. And they're always interesting. They're always interesting. I'm going to say that. Interesting videos. But she has a website, and it's vapegirl.com, I believe. Pardon me. I'm going to have to ask Robin what's in the news. <coughs> well, she never answers me. Uh, but I'm going to post a link in the description to her website. On her website, she has this area called Awkward Admirers. And it is some of the funniest shit I have ever read in my life. Oh my god, it's hilarious. And she uh, she updates it, which is great. Um, I haven't checked it within the last 24 hours. <laughs> this is just the perfect example. Um, <laughs> these are hilarious. Um, so someone posted on her YouTube, uh, show your tits in the next video. <laughs> someone... Someone said that to another person. Show your tits in the next video. What a classy, classy guy. Someone else said, what a dumb bimbo and the coolest thing she's ever done. <laughs> I, I love... Oh, there she is. Oh, my God. Hi, Jam. Duckling. I heard you coming a mile away, sister. Not me. Not you. What are you doing? Come here and taste this. Oh, my God. 
What am I tasting? It's here, come here. I'll tell you when to stop so you don't end up on camera. You can come to the end of my hand. I'm scared. Uh, no, come on. I trust me. She gets really camera shy. See, that's the problem. I'm in my nighty. You're. In, she's in her nighty. See, look. See, you have all this room. Look, fingers. Duck. Taste this. It is heaven in your mouth. What am I eating? Bacon. <laughs> This is what bacon looks like, apparently, these days. It's this a is maple chocolate. bake. It's all natural. Maple bacon, chocolate bar, crisp bacon, delicate maple sweetness, and bonfire smoked sea salt, bathed in milk chocolate. Holy uh-huh. shit. No, wait for the back note. After you swallow. <laughs> the back note. And the daggum thing is, I already posted on Instagram that I bought these for Brandon and Mark. And now you're eating them? Well, I bought one extra for us to share, but daggum, I just don't know if they're going to make it to them. We're going to have to make a pit stop. It's a little weird. I mean, it's good. It's good. Don't get me wrong. Don't get if me that way. weird word. means delightful and mouth orgasm. Where did we get these? Let me show the packaging. Uh, this is maple bacon chulajo. Chuao. <laughs> I choked on my spit again. <laughs> Gourmet handcrafted chocolate. It's bacon, uh, maple sweetness, bonfire, smoked sea salt. That's that's good. Thanks. Show them a new thing. So, uh, Inokin, <coughs> the uh, makers of the MVP and the I Taste 134 and the Cool Fire version 1 and 2, they have these new MVPs out. Can you see this? Can I get it in the light? Well, I turn the light off so that you can have glows uh, in the dark. It, the 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 clearomizer glows in the dark. This is an Inokin. It's the iClear 16B, and then they have these new uh, I Taste MVPs with like this one has a sugar skull on it with little jewels and stuff. Sure. The back's just pink, um, but these come in like there's a green one with a butterfly and a uh, there's a black one with like blue diamonds on it. Um, Amber loves it, and so... Because uh, it makes me feel tough. It makes her feel tough, having a pink... And you know what's funny is Amber hates pink <laughs> and hates skulls. Like, she's a, she's like, skulls are the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> I'm like, well, you wouldn't say that if you didn't have one. And then not only is this pink, not only is this pink, her least favorite color, it has a skull on it. I don't know why she likes it so much. It's got them fancy little jewels on it. Bacon chocolate. That clearomizer is not uh, super strong, is it? It came with it. I was just giving it a go. I haven't put my cake on on it yet. That's not terrible. Here you go, honey. Leave me to it. Duck, um... Let's talk about this. No, leave me to this. I'm, I'm already 26 minutes in and I haven't even got anything I want to get done yet. So can you please... That would be great. I feel like you're kicking me out. Again, I know. Do you want just a little piece more? No, thank you, honey. I I'm all like, set. I like really Hi, I need to get through this, please. You're kicking me out. Yes, thanks, honey. Love you, bye. I'm just going to snuggle with my dog who loves me. Help me get out of here. You're fine. Just walk. Don't knock over my stool. Shit. She's like a bull in a china shop. I'll tell you what. You don't make fun of me. I, fa- I found out today that uh, Southern people, no offense if you're Southern, um, what's the word that we cre- that you created? We get discounts. Dudden. 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 That doesn't sound right. Dudden. I was like, Dudden? What Southern people are the only people that say Dudden. Normal people or non-Southern people say doesn't, but Southern people say Dudden. What was the sentence? I don't know. You were saying that doesn't do something. Okay, honey, I gotta get back to the vlog. Love you. We're already a half hour into this. This is gonna be an hour long vlog. Hope everybody wants to sit here for an hour. Everybody, I want y'all to comment and tell him that you love me so much you want me to stay around. Thanks, honey. Yeah, thanks for nothing. I love you. I've also been rocking the Ruthless Bomber. Love you. Um, just because this is like a point two ohm. And, uh,. I've just been uh, I've been rocking it in the Ruthless Bomber because I discovered that these batteries, thanks to a very helpful subscriber, are uh, are in fact like 
35 amp batteries. Um, did some research. 35 amp batteries, 0.2 ohms. It's great. Quasar. <laughs> Quasar. Back to her awkward admirers. Just go there. It's hilarious. Read through these. I honestly cannot believe that people type this stuff to her. And it's it's hard being on YouTube and putting yourself out there and dealing with jackassy comments. Uh, you know what I mean? But I couldn't imagine being a girl as well, having to deal with jackassy guys who are like, I want to eat your pussy. <laughs> like, who says that to another person? Like, that it blows my mind. I, Janae, I don't know how you do it. Same goes for Amanda. I don't know how you how you deal with it or how you put up with it. Um, but, you know, Spice Girls, girl power, uh, keep it up. Keep up the good work, Janae. Keep it up. Don't let, uh, don't let the haters get to you. Moving forward, I um, want to make one quick shout-out to uh, DJ Trizzles. He sent me a link to uh, a song he wrote. Um, it's called Cloud Chasers, the vape anthem. And it's like, uh, you know, it's hip-hop, and that's not my thing. DJ Trizzles. What? I feel so hip when I listen to this. That's my dance. Anyway, I'll post the link in that in, to that in the description. Uh, it's like a hip hoppy rap thing, and I'm not a hip hoppy rap guy, so uh, I don't quite get it. Uh, the ECF hating thread is going to have to wait until next week. Uh, there was a thread on ECF that I was reading that was all about me and how I'm an attention whore. So that's I'm gonna I'm not even gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about that next week. We've covered DJ Trizzles and his. Uh, his vape song, we covered the Wiimote mod, we talked about Vector, so uh, Russ Wish Tart of uh, ClickBang, and if you're not listening to ClickBang, why are you not listening to ClickBang? He, uh, I like ClickBang, I've liked Click, ClickBang, I've liked ClickBang from the beginning. Um, I've always been a fan of Russ, uh, back in his vape TV days. Uh, he made the move to uh, the Vapor's Place Network. I've continued to follow him. I, I like Russ, and I would consider him a friend. He is he is suing the state, the state, the city of New York City. Um, and I think he's got a really, really good chance of winning. He has teamed up with Clash, um, which is citizens lobbying against smoker harassment. Uh, they have won legal disputes with the city in the past regarding smoking, and uh, now they're stepping up and kind of doing it for vaping. Uh, they have their whole mission statement on here. Uh, this They say what it isn't, what it is, what they're going for, um, the discussions around it, how you can help. Um, CASA is involved. They're helping the National Vapors Club is involved and they're helping there are vendors uh donating money donating time if you can donate um they're going for forty thousand dollars and they have uh they've raised eleven thousand dollars and this gets updated daily so if you have anything if you want to if you want to help russ and clash out sue the city of new york city uh regarding their recent uh vape bans then i uh i i think uh, i think this is a great thing and uh i say that now as a hypocrite because i have donated zero to this but that doesn't mean i won't russ that doesn't mean i won't um so i'll post a link to that as well in the description but you know what kudos to clash and russ for just kind of taking it to the next level uh, instead of just lying down and bitching about vape bans that are happening uh, Russ and Clash are actually going to fight back in the most effective way possible. And like I said, I love uh, Clickbang. I love his podcast. And recently, his podcast has become less of a vaping podcast and more of a freedom podcast. And Russ and I see eye to eye on a lot of stuff regarding the United States NSA government 
tops. I mean, we agree on all this stuff. And so I love listening to his his freedom podcast um, with with bits of vaping uh, thrown in there because those are two uh, two of my interests. And why would I not listen to a podcast regarding that? So thank you, Russ, for that. Uh, my social crunch rebuttal. Mm. Is going to have to wait until next week as well because this is running way too long. Uh, there is a tumble log out there, Social Crunch, and they reblogged something that I had posted and then added a bunch of stuff to it. And I have no way to reply to this gentleman um, other than video. I don't have his email. I don't have his contact information. There's no way to publicly reply on his Tumblr. And so uh, I copied and pasted his website and I was going to address the issues that he had with my article, but uh, but we're not going to do that this week because there is so much stuff to talk about. I have some first impressions. Next up, New York Times. Now, I've said this a lot and I continue to say it and I'm, I'm probably beating a dead horse into the ground, but the New York Times should truly be ashamed of what they have what they have reported their journalism, um, just barrels of poison. The New York Times would have you believe that vapors in our homes and in our places of business just have barrels of nicotine, just open jugs of nicotine, candy flavored nicotine, and we're just throwing children into them. We basically want to just murder children. This article that I will post a link to through grimgreen.com uh, just does nothing but completely villainize vapors and completely villainize people, adults, smart adults who want to stop using tobacco. That is all we want to do. We don't want kids to overdose and drink poison liquid nicotine of course we don't want that no parent wants that for their kid no stranger wants that for another kid as much as kids weird me out i would never go god i wish that kid would drink some nicotine that's never been my mo that's i've never said that except for just there but that was just an example Nobody, we, of course we want to protect the kids. Of course we want kids to be safe. Demetrius said it very well on his Facebook. Him and his wife have been vaping for four years. Their kids know that this is not something that you get to even touch. That's what needs to happen. Parents need to parent. And the New York Times and the federal government need to, uh, need to keep their their damn noses out of it because I don't know about you, but I do not need a full-time government babysitter in my life uh, at all. I think adults are responsible people and have the ability to make their own decisions regarding how they live their lives. Okay, that's just a call me old-fashioned, I guess. Uh, but this this really stuck in my craw, man. This article uh, really bothers me. And uh, I use some colorful metaphors in there that I probably shouldn't have. But uh, you can go on their website. You can comment and let them know how full of poopy they are. Um, anyway, the, it's, the article's on grimgreen.com, but there is also a link to, uh, if you click on the sweet poison graphic I made, um, you can go right to the, uh, to the New York Times article and uh, share it, uh, leave a comment, this, that, and the other. But really, New York Times, yeah, really, really let me down on this one. Man, what a bummer. You guys suck. <laughs> That's just all there is to it. Uh, so next up, I already talked a little bit about the iGo W5, which is great, and I've been using it. Um, like I said, Amber and I were out running errands today, and this came right before I left. And so I'm like, eh, I've been itching to get home. And I got home, you know, a couple hours ago, and I, I built it up with... Uh, just a micro coil, dual micro coil, cotton, uh, you know, nonsense. It's there on the Duke. I love that crackling sound. Um, it seems pretty simple. The problems that I was having with the old Igo L was that these O rings on the base would get very weak. So constant, you know, removing and replacing of the top cap would wear out these O rings and they would end up getting loose and like kind of. Uh, like oozing out the bottom. Um, I'll be interested to see 
If that happens with the I go uh, W5, hopefully not. Hopefully that doesn't happen because uh, this is pretty great. I'm going to recommend this to a whole mess of people. I'm going to have to drop a link in the description, uh, which I don't remember uh, which vendor this came from, but I will link to the vendor that this came from. The I go W5 is for, I mean, available a lot of places on the internet, but I want to give proper credit to the vendor that uh, that did send this to me because they're the ones that sent it to me. Tip top, just top notch. Um, another thing, another first impressions that I do have to talk about came from a company called Blow No Smoke. Blow No Smoke. It's B L O N O S M O K E dot com. And I'll put a link to it in the description to this video. They sell the Sigeli 20 watt, and uh, they sent me a Sigeli 20 watt to try out, to test out. Uh, so far, I have been really impressed with this. I haven't run anything, I don't know how low this can go. Uh, it doesn't say on here atomizer resistance rate between 0 0.5 and 5 ohms. 0.5. Point five. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Uh, yeah, well, let's see. I've been using it with the uh, iClear 30S. Um, this is freshly filled up with some delicious donut pounder juice. Not that this is an amber commercial, but donut pounder juice. Uh, it's 2 ohms. I have it set to 11.6 watts, and it's giving me 4.8 volts. It's got a battery indicator here that kind of jumps all over the place. When you press the button, it looks like the battery drains all the way, and then when you let go, it fills back up. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. It's actually like a live reading of the battery, so it keeps jumping around just a little bit, 3.83 to like 3.7, and it goes down a little bit. It's like real time reading the battery, but uh, it's been good. It's kind of big. After, I mean... <laughs> I use a Duke, which is huge, but I was using for the longest time, I was using this. I've been using this little Gus, and comparatively, it's a monster. I mean, it's taller than the Gus and the Atomizer combined. Just kind of makes for a little bit big of a mod. But it's been... Uh, It's been really good, and just for fun and giggles, uh, what I want to do is plug this IGO W5 on here because I know this is built to 0.8 ohms, and if this Sigeli 20 watt can do 0.5 ohms, I see no reason why it won't fire this. No, nope, it gives me a low res. It says low res. Two, three, four, five. Let's, let's try to raise the voltage. Let's try to raise the wattage to just as high as it'll go. 14, 15, 16, and you do have to tilt it to adjust the wattage. There you go, 19.9 watts. Let's screw this back down. No, it's giving me a, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Low res. It says low res. Um, just to prove what the ohms are on this, Let's see if I can uh, plug it on my multimeter. Yep, 0 0.6. 0 0.63. Uh, it says it fires 0 0.5, and it does not fire a 0 0.63. It gives me a low res, low resistance warning. So, so far we're not off to a good start. That is definitely, maybe it's because it's a dual coil. Maybe because it's a dual coil, but that shouldn't matter because the overall ohm is 0.6. I'll try a 0.5 single coil uh, later in my uh, later in my you know research my science uh, to see what what's the lowest it will fire. Um, one thing I have discovered is that uh, 18650 battery. If you have a Segeli Legend, uses the same battery tubes, and so for a while I was rocking it with little 18350 battery in there because I was using the smaller Segeli Legend tube. Totally fits on there, totally looks great, and it totally fits a smaller, smaller battery. Um, it has the top that comes off. So you have a uh, an Ego style on there. And then the, this goes back on, and the threads are really nice. Pardon me, but yeah, that's the uh, Sigeli 20 watt. Obviously, I'll report back 
after I have spent uh, a lot more a lot more time with it so before this video runs far 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 too long it is time for viewer mail viewer mail uh, here's a pro tip if you have a Segeli 20 watt and you adjust the wattage all the way back up to 20 watts don't try to fire a 2 ohm coil on there because it will kick your ass at about 6.5 volts um, I felt like I had uh, some sort of burning tire in my mouth let's go back down to 11 and a half um, and uh, and now it's back to normal <laughs> The button has got stuck on me a few times as well. Um, it's happened two or three times now where I'll pull it away and I'll hear it like So I have to like bang on the button to get it to stop, but uh, uh, uh Why is there anything falling? Um, but it has happened a few times. So onward, onward to viewer mail, you say. Um, <clears throat> Um, I'm expecting my inbox to be full. I haven't actually even looked uh, at any of this viewer mail. So let's just dive right in. I have a uh, very full, very full, uh, very full inbox. Let's say, uh, let's try this. Dakota. Hello, Nick. Hello, Dakota. Uh, I watch your videos all the time and they have gotten me through so much and I thank you for that. Well, you're very welcome. But I have a question. So I bought a Patriot RDA a couple days ago and I just tried it out today. It came already built and it wasn't firing. So I tightened the screws and then it worked. But when I tightened the left one, the whole post just started spinning and now I don't know how I can fix that because I don't know if it's safe to vape like that. Um, Dakota, don't... Uh, don't don't vape it like that um if you just got it a couple of days ago take it back to wherever you got it and get a new one um chances are that's going to cause a short that's just going to be bad it's going to be a pain in the ass to build on once you get your wire in there your lead in there you're not going to be able to tighten that screw down all the way because it's going to be you know the post is going to be spinning um, i'm not sure if you have a clone or if you have an actual Patriot. Um, I've never used a clone, so I can't speak to their quality. But if you only got it a few days ago, contact whoever you bought it from or take it back. <coughs> Pardon me. Take it back to the brick and mortar store from which it came because that, that should not be happening uh, after not even one build. After just tightening down the screws, if that broke and is spinning now, that's no good. You got a bunk atomizer and... Uh, you need to take it back. I just need to let Dakota know right now. I've answered this via vlog. Will be on YouTube this Thursday. Thanks. Uh, thank you, Dakota. Thank you, Dakota, for emailing me. Uh, I'm sorry I wasn't more help, but... Uh, uh, that happens. Um, Edward. Oh, you have a long email, Edward. As the subject says, I started with a cheap Avail Vapor e-cig and a friend of mine, and then a friend of mine from work have me two other batteries and tanks, and today gave me a Pro Tank 2, and that totally vapes better. I'm trying to save up for a mod so I can start wrapping coils and getting in the with the big boys. A little backstory. I'm 28. I have two kids. I smoked analog since I was 12. I'm writing you because I'm seriously thinking about starting a website, local meetup, smoking cessation. Oh, don't do that. Group. Uh, the idea behind it is the local education to get people off analogs. My idea is that it can be a charity, all sorts of former smokers. Uh, so there's a lot. You, you got a lot going on here in this email, buddy. So don't, 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 don't mention smoking cessation. That's not what we're doing. What we're doing is a reduced harm alternative. This is an alternative to tobacco cigarettes. It is not smoking cessation. Absolutely, you should start a local meetup. Um, if you actually want it to be a charity, there is some legal stuff that you're going to have to go through to get the status of, of a nonprofit organization. It's not like you just go, I'm a charity now, and just accept money and you know what I mean that it doesn't work that way you have to do it on the up and up you have to you have to actually become a non-profit or not for-profit 
organization if there's going to be any sort of money exchanging hands. But absolutely, I think you should do this. I think it's a great, I think it's a great idea. Um, you may not even know how many vapors there are in your area. And the only reason I say that is because locally here in the very, very small town of Carson City, Nevada, I didn't know that there were any real vapors here until we had our first meetup. And then I met all these wonderful people, uh, my good friends Chad and Nina, who opened uh, Nevada Vapor Supply, which is, you know, 20 minutes away from me. Wonderful shop. They are my nearest and dearest friends. And they have friends, and their friends have friends, and then we all vape. We all get together at the shop and just vape and have vape meets, and it's wonderful. And I was surprised by how many people were there, and I've met some great, ah, fantastic people there through this. So you may not know how many people are in your area until you actually throw that vape meet. So just put the feelers out there. A good idea might be to start a Facebook group for your very localized area don't make it like you know nevada vapors make it like carson city vapors you know what i mean make it a little bit more localized see who's interested plan a meet have it and just go for it um but yes maybe the charity thing might be a little weird and again don't don't uh don't talk about smoking cessation or at all talk about vaping talk about meetups talk about tobacco harm reduction get the word out there that this is reduced harm reduced harm not uh, not smoking cessation but thank you edward um do i have time for one more do i have time for one more nope yep it's 50 minutes long right now holy holy ugh, that is ridiculous that is ridiculous um i don't even have i don't even want to open another email because most of these look long Attack on vaping, ECC, oh, Kraken. Okay, no, there's too much. There's too much to do. I'm going to have to cut this off right now. But uh, what I do have is a Duke. I have a passed away hero, and I have a Samuel Smith organic chocolate stout. Mm-hmm. Mm. Holy cow, that's good. Um... But what you have is your health and uh, endless entertainment on YouTube, courtesy of Grim Green Industries. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. That's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Um, coming up next week, not really sure what I'm going to be doing. Might be the Silver Bullet M. Oh, the Silver Bullet Mechanical. Might be that wonky mod, the M-O-D, the mod to power kit with a line over the O. Uh, pardon me. Uh, Robin, do you know what I'm doing next week? So yeah, that might be it. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to Vape Bash. You know what I mean? It's a couple weeks away. I'm going to try to keep my videos regular up until that point that we leave. I doubt I'll have a vlog the Thursday that we're flying out. You know what I mean? But hopefully I get to meet you guys there. I just want to meet everybody and I want to drink beer with you and talk shop and uh, just dispense hugs just to everybody that, uh, that, I, that I can possibly dispense hugs to. And that's, that's what's going to happen. Chances are, even if I'm just walking past you and you're like, oh, hey, Grim, I'm going to turn around and I'm not even going to say a word. You're just getting a hug. That's it. It's just Hug City, Utah. And uh, it's going to be great. So hope you're attending Vape Bash. There's so many people I want to see there that are not going to, that I know we're not going to be there, vaping with Twisted 420. Here's what I want everybody to do. I want you to pester vaping with Twisted 420 because I need to meet him because he seems like such, such a cool guy. And I want him to come to Vape Bash. Um, I know that Suck My Mod is going to be there. And I know, obviously, Basardo and Demetrius are going to be there, and I'll be there. And, and I really want Vaping with Twisted 420 to be there so, 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 so much. Um, everybody pester him. I'll be pestering him. You should pester him, too. He needs to come. Don't, don't, if, don't piss him off, you know what I mean? But pester him to the point that he has to just go, all right, I'm f fine, I'll go. Um, but that's coming up. That's what I got. This is, uh, this is way too long of a vlog, but I want to thank you personally for uh, watching, for being involved in the community. This community means uh, just the world to me, and uh, I couldn't uh, have asked for, uh, I mean, this is, I don't want to get gushy, 
this is my family, okay? And I take it very seriously, <laughs> clearly. Uh, thank you so much for watching, everybody. As always, let's keep on vaping. <laughs> uh, everybody loves Gypsy. Look at this little dog. What you doing? Everybody loves a Gypsy. Okay.